Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Serrano, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for subscribing, and uh, welcome back to another video. We're going to talk about the BlackBerry Priv. Now, uh, one of the things about this device that's really fascinating in 2019 is it was released four years ago, and it's still a really compelling device. Now, this thing features a physical keyboard, uh, AMOLED display for uh, no, 5.4 inch display with 1440 times 2560 pixels per inch. Now this thing has a 16 by 9 ratio with 540 pixels per inch density. It has Corning and Gorilla Glass 4, which is definitely going to be pretty pr protective. And it also does um, have a curved edge screen which is actually like a samsung design from like the earlier curved models on the um, you know the, the s7s and you know the edge devices from samsung now this thing does feature 6.0 lollipop and uh it also does have a snapdragon 808 and a hexacore processor with four 1.4 gigahertz cortex a53 processors with two 1.8 cortex a57 uh, processors with an adreno 418 now this thing does have a micro sd expansion up to 256 gigabytes and also does feature 32 gigabytes of internal um 32 gigabytes of rom and three gigabytes of internal store uh ram memory so this thing also does have a uh, 18 megapixel camera on the back which is the Snyder uh, Chris Notch Optics uh, Dual LED Dual Tone Flash HDR Panorama uh, Camera. Now this thing is really impressive. You can get to the shortcut menus with those little keyboard uh, shortcuts. You can actually designate whatever key you want to be a shortcut to open up your app. So obviously I did choose uh, the Y for YouTube. I did choose the I for Instagram. And um, this thing also did have like gesture feedback when you were actually Actually using the physical keyboard so you know it didn't matter if you wanted to use the touch keyboard on the on the um you know on the screen or just use the physical keyboard that was one of the main features about this device now a lot of people are gonna um say that this device doesn't um you know stack up because of the specs inside of it but one of the key features about this device is the fact that no other um phone has this physical keyboard now that's one of the reasons why i was compelled to buy it and it was actually a really affordable price in 2019 uh, i actually got this device for 104 dollars in 2019 so i definitely gotta say it was a run for my money and it definitely was impressive just to say the least this thing was really impressive make sure you guys stay locked in but you can see right here you can actually just scroll like a mouse on the keyboard and uh you know when you were using social media and everything like that which is definitely pretty cool now the actual build of this thing was quite impressive with that aerodynamic curved sides on the edges with the bottom that looked like like it just it just was really you know like designed well with that leather back which gave you extra grip when whenever you wanted to grab a hold of it but um i could only see, say that this thing wasn't going to slip out of your hand unless you have sweaty hands like me so i definitely needed a case for this thing but you can see that the front um camera wasn't not bad and you know it definitely was pretty good for you know just taking some decent shots now one of the cool things about this device was the the, the rear camera 18 megapixel now the front megapixel was two megapixels but the, the 18 megapixel on the back the schneider was actually really good you can see this little guy right here on um on the side of my door and i was just like this thing seemed like uh you know like some a, a tippet like you know a snippet from like uh uh men in black or something this guy was just on the creep but, um, you know, I definitely thought that I was getting some pretty decent footage when it came to the BlackBerry Priv on the 13 megapixel Schneider uh, cross-notch optics camera. Now, this thing did receive its last update, which was right here. And um, I believe before this, I had um, October 2016. But after this update had completely finished, I was looking at, you know, like 
basically November 2019. But when I went to the Android Bulletin, I actually saw that they actually had up to December 2017. But it, anyways, that's only a month difference, so it actually didn't matter. I guess it's just depending on what model you actually owned. But you can see right here, it did optimize the apps, and I did notice that there was some battery optimization. And when I did plug in the um, USB uh, uh, micro USB charger, to it it actually started to re um configure and memorize the battery usage and after about a week it had it like locked in but you can see that the gaming for light usage was actually quite impressive like when i was just gaming lightly with like um you know like really light games and stuff like that it was like pretty much easy to you know like navigate to all the buttons the screen was super smooth and it was definitely a good experience compared to some of the mid-rangers that i've been using um what i did actually notice was that um if you were to go to a heavier graphic intensive game such as like maybe asphalt 9 or PUBG, you might experience some overheating so like that was the only issue that i was experiencing but you know you could definitely play like a lot of games on here and it i definitely did enjoy the experience that i was having so um you can see right here uh this is called the end this is like one of my favorite runner games and uh definitely like playing this game is definitely cool like when you want to kill some time and stuff like that honestly um but when you jump over to the PUBG, you could see that uh you know this thing did um automatically configure to low graphics but one of the things i realized was that um the processor didn't feel like it was running low graphics graphically uh, when i was looking at the screen it kind of felt like i was on a medium setting or maybe even a high setting like if i was on a mid-ranger but this was actually the low settings for this um older flagship but you could see right here i didn't have any problems whatsoever when it came to um you know playing um high graphic intensive games i did notice some you know a little bit of warming it wasn't gonna like you know like uh burn my hand or anything like that but during the winter or something like that this thing would definitely be a great hand warmer if you were actually using um you know like games in the winter time but um i'm not sure this i'm like actually in 80 degree weather so i don't know if that like actually changes the heat of the battery maybe it makes it work a little bit over time compared to like if you lived in colder climate let me just uh sip my brewski real quick i'm gonna sip a brew hold on one second okay but you could see right here you know i didn't have any issues when it came to heavy graphic intensive games but um you know i thank you guys for watching thank you for staying locked in with me this keyboard right here is 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 just life if you if you if you came from the physical keyboard life my first smartphone ever was the um was the motorola q and that thing had a physical keyboard so just buying this thing brought me back to those times but I'll, i appreciate every last one of you definitely appreciate you guys for watching this video you guys are the real mvps um make sure you hit the like button if you have found it helpful uh subscribe get notified hit the bell as well and i'll see you guys in the next video later crew peace